Got a question from a customer recently who was asking how to do texture effects and the example they showed me had a diffusion dither in it. And if you look at this palm tree, let me zoom in, that's what a diffusion dither looks like close up. The problem with diffusion dither and screen printing is sometimes those dots can get too small and the texture will get lost. So let me show you how to make this kind of thing and also show you how to make the dots big enough where they won't get lost if you're doing a screen print. So I'm gonna turn off these palm trees and I'm also gonna turn off texture. So we just have this texture effects text and what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2 and in there are a bunch of bad photocopy textures. I think this number 15 will work, so let's open that in Photoshop. Let's go Command A to copy that, Command C, and I'm just gonna close that, and let's go back into our main file here in Photoshop and go Command V, and I'm gonna put that on top of the type, turn that to multiply layer, and we're gonna scale it up. We don't need to worry about resolution too much at the moment. And let's have a that streak kind of go through there because I think that looks pretty cool. And so that's looking pretty good so far. Let's also get a palm tree. So I have a photograph I took with my phone of some palm trees. And what we can do is go into our channels. Let's pick a channel here and one that looks like it has a nice amount of light to dark value. I think this blue channel is a little flat. I think the green one looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here is just a real easy marquee selection. I'm not gonna worry too much about this because this style of art isn't too critical. We're not trying to be too precise or perfect. So I'm just gonna copy that. Let's go back into our main file here and go Command V and I'm gonna paste that on top of everything. And let's scale this up. Again, we're not too worried about resolution at this point. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invert that and let's play with our levels, Command L. And we wanna actually leave some of the gray value in there. And I think that looks pretty good. So now that we have that in our file, let's go ahead and turn off the texture and the text. It's gonna make a big selection of this. Go Command Shift C to copy merged. And let's make a new image in Photoshop. And this image is roughly 2000 by 3400 pixels. And where I mentioned with Diffusion Dither where you don't want those pixels to be too small, we actually wanna scale this down. So in this case, we don't want too much resolution. Too much resolution is a bad thing. So let's go to image, image size. And with Diffusion Dither, you know, anywhere between 80 to 100 pixels per inch is pretty good. And let's say we wanted this palm tree to be 13 inches tall. So, you know, that's only 1300 pixels. Maybe I'll, I'll round up a little bit. Let's do 1400 pixels because there's a little bit of area at the top and the bottom here. And let's go OK. And the other thing I want to do is invert this again. So image adjustments, invert. And now we want to change it to a bitmap. So image mode grayscale, click discard, and then image mode bitmap. Now with our method, a lot of times we'll use like a halftone screen, but in this case, we want that diffusion dither look. So let's just select that and then click OK. And when I zoom in here, you'll see those little diffusion dither dots. You know, it looks really 
pixelated, but there's no gray pixels. It's all just black and white. And we can save this as a Photoshop PSD file or a TIFF, either one will work, but I'll just save it as a Photoshop PSD. And let's go back to our main file here and let's turn off that palm tree we had in there before. Let's turn back on our text. And the other thing I wanna do is the example the customer sent me had, a, it looked like it had a little bit of blur on the text. So let's go to our text layer here and let's just rasterize that. Layer, rasterize type. And what I wanna do now is go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just gonna blur it out just a tiny bit. And you know, I might even do the same thing with this texture. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We don't wanna blur it out too much. Maybe like 1.2 pixels. This image right here is 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. But again, when we turn this into a bitmap, we actually wanna make all this stuff smaller. So let's make a marquee selection and then Command Shift C for copy merge. Let's make a new Photoshop document. This one defaults at 3690 by 1687. And we'll paste that in there and we'll flatten it. And again, we wanna scale this down. So image, image size, let's do, let's do 1300 pixels, 1350, let's say. Click OK. So this isn't very high resolution at all. And let me zoom in here so you can see it. Image mode grayscale. Click discard and then image mode bitmap. And we'll have diffusion dither as the method. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's um, invert this and then click save. Now what we want to do is let's go into Adobe Illustrator make a new image, and I'm just gonna do 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. That's typically my default where I start with graphics. You can always change it later. And let's make a rectangular box that's just black. And what we wanna do is let's place in the type, file place, type bitmap, place it in there. And it comes in really small. Let's make it white. But again, like I said, this is okay to have it small and scale it up because that will retain the texture and the pixelization. And you can see because it's a bitmap, there are no gray pixels. And the other thing we wanna do is let's place in our palm tree. File place and then palm tree bitmap. And just click to place that in and the the great thing about bitmaps in Illustrator is they come in where everything was white, they come in transparent. And then where everything was black, you can assign it a color. So I'm just gonna assign that sort of like a red fill. And then I'll option drag, copy over, make that an orange. And that's how you do the diffusion dither look. Now, Zooming in, you know, we actually could go even lower resolution if you wanted to just make this effect a lot more apparent. So there you go.